This is just a quickie video that I want to get out before a major earthquake happens on March the 21st. Are you serious? Are we talking mega, mega, mega quake? Are we talking about something that might literally crack the earth apart? What? No, don't go running for the emergency evacuation kit just yet. This was prompted by an email I got saying, I'm curious about all the news and stories stating that the Earth is shifting its axis at approximately every 188 days, causing an earthquake with each event. I'd never heard of this, but the email ended with the question, Do you know about any research documents that may prove this phenomenon? But I wasn't about to go through all the journals searching for papers about a 188-day axis shift and then do another search for papers showing there's no such thing. There's a much easier way, which of course is... Go, go to, to the, the source. source. So we have to track down where this assertion comes from. When I googled earthquakes 188 days, a number of sites came up. I picked this one. And this led me to this site, which was an interview with the guy who made the assertion. It told me that this myth is based on a DVD. And that led me to this site, which is a trailer for the DVD. And that led me to this site, which is run by the guy who came up with the idea, Wayne Young. He goes by the name Lucas911. At his website, you can buy copies of the DVD. So we've now established that this theory about the Earth shifting on its axis every 188 days is not based on any scientific study that's been peer-reviewed and written up in a respected scientific journal. It's just an idea that some guy has come up with and put on his website, and it only took a few clicks of the mouse to find this. It's all based on the claim that major earthquakes happen every 188 days. Now, if they did, and if that pattern was statistically significant, that would certainly be interesting, and some explanation would have to be forthcoming. But before we get into explanations that involve exploding comets or hidden planets, let's just see if there really is a 188-day pattern. Well, the interviewer here certainly seems to think there's a pattern. And it appears that earthquakes are occurring for this segment, as you say. You have uh, 100, uh, you know, I had came 188, 187, 189. Um, you're right. But one of the cardinal rules in science is that you can't cherry-pick only the data that conforms to your hypothesis. You can certainly discard data that you know to be erroneous, and there's a statistical method for discarding data at the extremes, but reliable data has to be included. And if that messes up your nice, neat little hypothesis, then tough! It means the hypothesis was probably wrong. So the first question to ask is whether Young has included all the earthquake data, and the answer is no, he hasn't. Here are all the earthquakes of magnitude 7 or greater in the time period he's looking at. Even if we only take the earthquakes around the so-called Ring of Fire, which is where Young's chosen earthquakes are located, there are more than enough to completely stuff up the 188-day cycle. And the earthquakes aren't just random in time, there's no clear pattern in geography either, except for the very well understood geological premise that earthquakes concentrate along the margins of tectonic plates. When I investigated further, I found a number of videos from last year insisting that there was a geographical as well as a temporal link between these earthquakes. Well, here's the deal. You got Chile, 188 days later, New Zealand, 188 days later, the big earthquake in Japan, and 188 days later will be right here on September the 15th. 8.9. Now we get another earthquake in California on the 15th of September. Will that, will that be? Of course, there was no earthquake in Northern California, but as soon as that myth fizzled out, it was replaced by the myth we now have, because luckily for the 188-day cycle believers, an earthquake occurred near Fiji on the day it was supposed to hit California. What are the odds? Well, actually, pretty good, as we'll see in a minute. But first, let's look at the alleged cycle itself. Now, statistically speaking, it wouldn't be difficult to find a pattern somewhere in here if you only picked the time intervals that fit and discarded those that didn't. If you have 43 points in time like this, then you have a total of just under 1,000 time intervals. Hardly surprising that three of them are going to be more or less the same. If you want to make your own conspiracy theory, see if you can find three other time intervals that match, or even four. Here's a website that will do the calculations for you. 
If you can go one earthquake better than the 188 day theory and find four time intervals, then make a DVD and make lots of money. Who knows, you might even strike lucky and get another earthquake on the day your earthquake cycle comes round again. The chances of this are pretty good. Based on his 188 day cycle, Young predicts another major earthquake on March 21st. For the time period he covered, a major earthquake occurs on average every 19 days, so there's a better than even chance that a major earthquake will occur five days either side of the 188 day mark. And since 188 days can also mean 189 days or 187 days according to the hypothesis, the odds are pretty good that Young will get his earthquake. Perhaps the statisticians among you can work out the odds. If he's wrong, what has he got to lose? If he's right, the believers will hail him as a prophet and buy more of his DVDs. But eventually, of course, this hypothesis will fizzle out as the cycle fails to unfold because there is no cycle, just an unscientific cherry pick. Why do people believe it? I don't know, it's just our natural disposition to believe what we're told by our peers, to look for patterns that aren't there, and these days to distrust scientists who many people think are determined to keep these truths from us. As an understanding of our world continues to unfold in the pages of scientific journals, we seem determined to push ourselves back into the scientific dark ages. Is God revealed to us a code, an earthquake code? The 188-day cycle is real. 